Good evening ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is just to teach you guys how to download SAS Planet and uh, make a image folder for your auto chart pro so they can put a Google Earth a Google Earth or a satellite image overlay onto your hummingbird uh, fish finders. <coughs> right so what you basically do you first have to download SAS Planet. So you put in a search SAS Planet and basically click on the very first item that comes up Google Earth and you look for 14050 zip click on it Obviously, try and get from Bitbucket the way forward. There we've got it. It's going to take us 19 minutes to download. So I'll pause this video for now. And we're still downloading. Still downloading. Seems to be getting worse. This is a South African internet speed okay here it is 16 seconds remain we've got a couple of seconds to go great Got SAS Planet 140505 zip. You can see mine's got a one there because I've already downloaded it. But you extract it obviously with WinRAR or one of the companies, and that is the the folder that you get. You put it somewhere on your PC, wherever it may be. I'm not going to do it because obviously I've got it. So we go to my little folders, mapping, go to SAS Planet, scroll down to application SAS Planet, double click. and it starts all right so we've got i'm doing rotor copy stand just because it's not a lot of people have got it so what you've got to do is you've got to make sure you have got your internet connected and we have the zoom level Basically, you can zoom in. As you zoom in, you get closer. As the closer you get, the worse the picture basically gets. So, if you want to have a good picture close up, you can see as you zoom in over here, the zoom level changes from Z1 17, Art 16, 15, 14, and so on. You will basically only be able to download tiles up to zoom level 18 or 19 approximately you go in and you can have a look at it there the closer you go in the larger the download in other words it's a lot more difficult to get that onto a map because it's going to be a bigger file so you go here you create a poly polygonal selection you then click around the dam that the area that you want obviously to minimize the amount that you need to download let's 
so that you can minimize the amount of info that you have on your auto chart and you select that area now they're going to use that area to you want to download dg sapmaps.ov.com how you get to that is basically over here you uh, can select what game what what map you would like so you come here you can go to Nokia DG set maps and it'll give you you can even do it in a regular map format so if you wanted just an outline like a regular outline without Google image you can put that on your screen if you really wanted to depending on what you wanted uh, you can go down to Google Earth whatever Google Earth is images on the, the download you can have it you can put in ESRI ArcGIS imagery it's also quite a nice one they've got some nice maps you can basically go to the whatever map you want I've just taken that one for instance it's just the one I've chosen you can pick whichever one you want you then go to that selection that you your last selection. You then download. You can download up to zoom level 19 if you want, but 18 or 17 is more or less where you, I'm going to do it at 16, just so that we can do it quicker. So it will then download 62 tiles. Progress bar goes pretty quickly. task is complete and you say quit so now they've downloaded them into the system you can go down so if you look over here we went to 16 that's pretty much the image that you're going to get on your finder if you download it to 18 that's the image you'll get you would need to download the map you can see that's fuzzy in that square means it hasn't been downloaded so we can if you really wanted to get crazy you could go to last selection download it to 18 but then you can see 709 files it's going to take an hour approximately to do look up it's going to do it quicker but you get the meaning so you can download those maps but for the for the video we're just going to do at a zoom level 60. we then take that last selection we then click on stitch we then click on png uh, output format we click save it to uh, let's call it here zoom 16 save because that's what we're saving it as gives you an idea of what you're doing you click to 16 because you know you've downloaded all 16 no overlay keep everything simple and you can click it to either a map or a KML file you can choose I prefer the map for some unknown reason seems to be able to do a bigger map if we start the map is complete you then go to your file or your folder you get a vertical piece and there it is Nokia Z16 there's the actual picture itself there's the dot map the georeference file that you're looking for to create the picture on give it a position on your on your fish finder all right so once we know we've got that, we can go to have a look at Auto Chart Pro. 
obviously you've installed AutoChart Pro. You have to have downloaded the uh, uh, what can I say the uh, the upgrade. You need to have upgraded the AutoChart Pro on uh, the Hummingbird site. Uh, so you basically go to where you reckon the map is going to be. I suspect that it is here. You click map here, so you give it a reference. You then click new, just to get it out of that mode again, out of the mapping mode. You then go to map, uh, sorry. Alright, so we have got um, it open up here. We've sort of referenced it to the point where we're mapping. Reddit copy says more or less here. You then insert your SD card or your zero line card into the uh, into the machine, into your machine. You will then get a done scan. There's your auto line or your auto chart card. We then go to map and you say create lake master image layer. Alright. So now we go look for our file that we've just made. Rotor copies. We've got two uh, Nokia Zoom 16 and GE. Zoom 17, but we've made Zoom 17 or 16. Here you can click on a Google Earth image if you make it with a KML file, or a Fugawi calibration file. I've never used that one before, or a Oz Explorer calibration file. Dot map. So we're using that one currently, and we say open. This folder will come up, adding new content to your custom Blackmaster map image layer. Takes a bit of time. It is now currently loading that to your zero line folder. Okay, great, so we've now went through the little thing, I had a little glitch there, um, I had to take a phone call, so uh, yeah, we've got the change background map, it says uh, your Lake Master SD card was successfully updated with your new chart data, would you like to change it? You say yes, and uh, you can then see we're pretty close and on your hummingbird auto chart pro you have the map that is now on your unit exactly on the unit so you've basically updated the unit itself and uh, that's it you do it to both of your cards or front card and back card and then both the units can have your Google Earth image on it. Hope that helps.